A7 gift box envelope template. Let's begin! Okay, starting off you'll need two sheets of 8.5 by 11 cardstock. You'll need to cut these two pieces of cardstock, both at the same measurement, at 9 and a quarter and 8 and a quarter. So you can do the first one and then go back and do the second one. Okay, with the first piece of cardstock, we'll put it into the scoreboard on the eight and a quarter inch side. So your first score will be at three quarters of an inch, one and three quarters of an inch, and seven and a quarter inch. So three quarters of an inch, one and three quarters, and seven and one quarter. You'll rotate the cardstock one turn to the left, to the nine and a quarter inch side, your first score will be three quarters of an inch and one and three quarters of an inch. And then you'll repeat that for the second cardstock. And then we'll get to trimming the cardstock. So you'll notice on my template on the screen here, there are some grayed out areas. My template has an error on it, but yours won't. So you'll notice the difference. I'll show you as I cut it where I realized my error in my template on screen, but it doesn't matter as long as you cut to the way that I'm showing you and follow your template when you download it, you'll be fine. You'll see the score marks here on the template. They're marked in gray areas. You're going to cut on the second score mark into that first score mark. And then you'll rotate your cardstock and cut down to the second score mark. I hope this is making sense. And now here you're going to trim down to the second score mark and you're only going to make a cut on the first score mark. You're going to cut that piece off and we're going to leave that little flap there. So on this part here, you're going to cut off that little flap, but you're going to cut all the way down to the second score mark and then just cut off that little top piece. And now we've got two flaps, one on each side. And then you'll make one angle cut on the side that has those two score marks. We'll crease all of the score marks and do the same thing for the second panel. So you should have two pieces that look identical. When you want to score this piece, make sure that you're scoring the opposite way of the first one because they should sit on top of one another and then be able to fold into a box. So as I'm showing you here, we wanna be able to put one on the top and one on the bottom. So I'm going to put some adhesive on that little small three quarters of an inch flap with the angle cut in it and I'll fold that down and then I'm going to turn it the opposite way of the other piece of cardstock and slip that into the corner. So you want to make sure you get this nice and straight and use the flaps of the second piece of cardstock to help you get it lined up straight because if it's not straight the box won't fold flat and it'll be kind of wonky and crooked. This step is quite crucial so you want to make sure that you take your time to line it up. There's a piece here on the left hand side that we'll, we'll come back to later and now if you've got this on straight, you should be able to apply adhesive to that the three quarter inch flap and lay it right on top and they should line up perfectly. So here you'll see our box starting to form and those little tiny flaps that are left open on both sides. Now this is in case you want to create boxes ahead of time and they'll stay nice and flat until you're ready to use them. When you're ready to make them, add some adhesive to those flaps and burnish them down and it'll make the box a bit stronger. So an extra tip here, you can create a little slit mark in the top closing flap of your box. These little slit marks help your box when it's closing to kind of grasp onto those little inner flaps there. And then it stays shut and it won't pop open on its own. So you can do this or not, whatever you prefer. If you're going to add a sticker to seal it, you can skip this step. I've also gone ahead and used a half inch circle punch and just punched halfway through on my circle to create a little finger hole where you can grab to open the box. And it just kind of creates a professional finished look. And then you can slip your cards inside. This will fit anywhere from four to eight handmade cards and envelopes, depending on how embellished your cards are or how simple they are. Now you're ready to gift your A7 boxes. Thanks for watching.